Hi everyone! In the previous lesson, we learned how to use the free version of the SVG Converter tool. You can access the tutorial from the link. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the pro version of the tool. First, find an image online to convert into an SVG file and download it. The image can be any of the typical file types, such as JPEG, PNG, or other common file types. Once you have an image, go to the svgtrace.com website. Click on the Pro Converter button. As you can see, the Pro Converter is paid. You can get lifetime access for just one payment. There are two different platforms you can use the tool on now. You can use the tool by downloading the application on your iPhone and iPad devices, or on the web without downloading. The app will soon be available for use on Android devices. Note that all platforms are sold separately. All right, let's go over the web platform. Sign up for the web platform and sign into your account. Click the converter button and open the image you have just downloaded. The most important feature of the Pro version is its ability to resize images with the AI tool before converting them. So even if you have a very small sized image, it will resize your image and provide you with the best result. Just click the settings and ensure that the AI tool is enabled. We mentioned the other settings while talking about the free version of the tool. You can increase the smoothness and simplify curves sliders to have more rounded and smoother curves. If you have small color spots on the final image, you can increase the despeckle slider. Once you have done the settings, click the done. You can also crop the image if you'd like. The default algorithm only predicts the first two colors. So if your image has more than two colors, you will need to select them manually. To select colors, all you have to do is hover your mouse over a part of the image and click. Selecting colors allows you to control how many layers the final image will have. Each color represents a new layer in the final SVG file. Click the Convert button. It may take time to convert. That's it. If you are not happy with the result, click the back button to adjust the settings again. If it is okay, click the next button to access advanced editing tools. The SVG Trace Editor is a powerful tool for editing SVG images, and it has a variety of useful tools that can help you achieve the desired effect. One of the most important features of the editor is its layering system, which keeps the SVG file organized and compatible with all software so we can select and edit each layer separately. To select all layers at the same time, just click the layer icon. Let's select the brown layer to edit. Once you select a layer, a variety of tools appears in the editor. The first one is the pan tool. Hold down the left mouse button and pan the layer, so you can move your image around the canvas. You can also zoom the image by scrolling the mouse wheel. This is especially useful when working with larger images or when you need to focus on a specific area. Another useful tool is Fill and Cut. This tool can be used for both removing unwanted paths and filling in gaps. Tapping on an empty area will fill it with color. Tapping on an existing area will remove it. You can undo the process if you'd like. The Erase tool can be used to erase specific parts of an image you can choose the desired brush size, then click and drag the brush over the area you want to erase. In addition, you can remove the small details and unwanted spots on the image, so you can clear the image. However, sometimes the erase tool might be unhandy, especially if you try to remove small spots among the other larger parts, you can remove them accidentally. In this case, we can use the vacuum tool Go back to Tools and select the Vacuum tool. It achieves this by erasing all objects that are smaller than the size of the brush. So, you can remove the unwanted details while keeping the larger parts. That's quite a useful and handy tool. Select the black layer. Switch to the Autofill tool. 
this tool is a quick and easy way to fill all of the areas inside the biggest enclosed path. This is especially useful when working with complex images that have many small gaps or spaces that need to be filled. To change the color of a layer, click on the coloring tool and use the Set Color window to select the desired color. Then press Save. To change the order of your layers, click on the Order button and then use the left and right arrows. Note that the layers are ordered from bottom to top. To make a copy of a layer, press the Copy button. Just click the Delete button to remove a layer from the image. All right. If you are happy with the final result, click the Export button. You can choose the SVG or PNG file type. Let's choose the SVG and download the file. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.